Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Paul Plays Infini Factory. Whew, now where are we? Uh, don't talk. Right, I was recording this episode. This is life support system. I was doing my solution for it making, and, and I'm not happy. I'll, I'll show you where I got to. So, this is it. This is the level. I'll, I'll do it now. We've got to build one of these things here. It's got this main block which comes out of here and we then have these sort of pillars here with caps on them which need to be assembled and it goes and then they drop in like that now I come up with what I thought was two very clever solutions I like th this this gets rid of the holes um, or grinds the holes using these rotators and that's spectacular i like that and it gets in here and i i like this because what it does is it pushes it in drops them in individually and sort of takes it back out and represents it and that 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 appeals to my seat there's two of them going in there's three of them going in um and then it pushes it on and it's all done but as you can see it's it's backing up I, i'm not doing this quick enough i i can't and this starts backing up and and i messed and and i don't like it there must be a quicker way of doing it and then i kind of hit a brainwave it was like it was like you know whoa boom light bulb above my head and i'll tell you what it refers to i'll show you exactly where the light bulb moment came from because i've been thinking about another puzzle as well this was back, was it here? Yes, Solar Cell Array. So what I'd done in Solar Cell Array, if you want, this, this is the solution, it hasn't been touched, that's, that's on the video, is you get a five by five thing extruded here. Like that. But to do it, I actually needed I couldn't see any way of welding this block in here. I said at the time there must be a way of doing it, and I couldn't figure it out. Um, There's no way of getting a welder in and dropping that block in and getting it welded. So I eventually cut an extra slice, sliced it in two, split it, and it works. I mean, it, 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 it did come up with a solution. But I noticed at the time that obviously I was out of sync with the inputs. Um, because I was wasting in effect, I was making one cut and another cut. I was wasting another five blocks of this. Um, this was lagging behind, and I had, I had them all backing up. But I, it, it was again, and then boom! When we weld two groups of blocks together, they all then get welded together. I mean, we know you know this because you know when you weld a three by three, like. Um, you know, if you've made three here and then you put another three on top of it and just weld it at one end, we know that if you un, you know, eviscerated or lasered that end, the rest of them won't fall apart. So, so what I'm saying is, even though it looks like in your head that you've touched two little spots between two things with a welder, in effect, you, what, what's actually happening in the game is that the two items, which are one in that square, one in that square, are then fully joined together. So, what I realised was, and again, this one has it, this one has extra inputs, which I'm just grinding away. If we'd put in some spacers in between these, so in effect, we assemble this 9x9 nine nine somewhere else with a block maybe in between there and there, there and there, there and there, or whatever, and then drop it in place. Once we do one weld, everything is then in place, and then a laser could just clean out the rubbish. So, so anyway, so that so that's that's all kind of um, that's all kind of as a backstory. So what I'm saying is what I'm basically going to do is I'm giving up on this solution because I think I can do it better. So let's have a go. I'm going to do a new solution for this puzzle. So the plan is up here to make 
a... I see, it should have been obvious, because look, these are only too high with a cap on. But they give you four. And what is four? Four is just enough to chop, like, because when you cut, you have to remove a block. It would leave you with one. Ah. So, without further ado, let's get going with this. Um, what I want to do is I want to lift these up and get them onto a platform and get these caps up onto these, uh, these as soon as possible. So, get that there. Um, it needs to get up to... That height, I believe. I know I'm going to need pushers behind it, so let's just get them in. Um, let's get them in straight away. And then let's bring these guys out. Is that in front of it? I believe it is. Two, three. One, two, three. No, nope, like that. Bring him like that. Rotate him. So, let's just have a look and see if, if that... Oh, no, of course it's not. Oh, why would I even... Um, you go forward like that. Right. So, when I get the block to here, I want to push these on. Now, I know I have a problem here. Um, I'll explain it in a second. Um, two, Okay, so explain to what I can see is my problem here. Um, okay, to weld, if I try and, I'd like to weld these on now, but if I try and weld these on now, um, I can only weld two that are not adjacent, because if I try and weld two adjacent, it'll weld it as one big block. So let's weld maybe him and him here. So I can do that with a welder there and a welder above it. So if I had a welder there, another one I didn't mean to take out that one. So that's that block there. And if I went above it with a downward welder there and there okay so these are these two now welded this these this one and this one are welded okay so also, when I push them out, what I'd like to do is I'd like to blast out this row here. So let's put a... I'm going to put a... What's the word I'm looking for? Laser? Um, there. Oh, not there. There. Then I want to come out of here. And fire my lasers. So that should then drop them, that should then remove that row when these finally get here. Let me have a look at that. Okay, what I probably need to do 
is not fire this laser until they get out here. So my lasers are going to be fired by this one, like that. Fabulous. So they're together now. With a bit of luck, I can then push these out. So I want to get in here. Um, get a blocker, get pushes in. A bit like that. And... really want to get them down from that laser there. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to lift you. Just to give me a bit of, a bit of extra room in this whole um, I'm going to lift you to there. And then I'm going to take out of there. Like that. I'm going to run you down the back. Okay. I think that may be okay. Let me just run that again. I was fast forwarding too much. So they come in. Boom. They're chopped. I have bits down here. And these ones are done. And we land like that. So we land like that. So now these ones could be welded here. So there and below and there and below would weld these ones. So what I need to do is do the lay welders here and here. It's a bit awkward, but like I said, if I tried to do them all at the one height, the whole thing gets welded together. So I can't have any of these laser squares adjacent, but that does work. Now, so these guys have just dropped in here. I'm going to pull these ones off. Like that. Like that. Now, so that's where we've got to so far. So, I need to get these out. So what I'm going to do to get them out is I need a... Okay, I might... Okay, I think I can use one of these... One of the new counter sensors. Like that. So basically, when it comes down here, let's just watch it. When it comes down here, it shouldn't fire because that's only, it sees one block, which is this one here. But when it sees a new one, it should fire and push the second one out as well. Let's have a look and make sure that works. It does indeed. Okay. So we're getting there. We have them as columns now and we have the spare pieces underneath them. So the shape I am looking for So if I have a look down on this here, I can see that, you know, they're at, they're, there's one gap in the middle and then they're at the compass points around it. So if I look down like that, that's right, there's a gap in the middle here and they're at, the, well, there's three of them are right. I'm going to have to grab this one and put it on a bit later. And I also, just looking at this here, I don't really, what if this guy is up here welding, so I'm going to lift this one up here and weld them. These three are now in place. This, uh, I don't particularly need. I can get away with just these two to weld this group of three together. So let's do that. I'm going to lift these ones up in the air. Like that. Um, now, where? how tall are they? 
they need to be three tall, don't they? Then have a lid on. In fact, that lid, they may be better being, if they were downward facing welders, How would that look? And then... Where's the other one? Let me just have a quick look and see. It's Then maybe something like this, put them uh, behind. Okay, I think that's a solid block here. And this block here isn't needed. Well, that's the only one that can get in there and that can be just eviscerated there like that let's have a quick look at this one more time okay let's just um take this one out of the way um And I'd like to do, so okay, so this, when this guy gets lifted up, so I put a sensor here and a pusher to the right of it to get it out. So if I put a sensor and a pusher, I think that gets it out. happens here yes so if this had been lifted up and was up here the same way as I did these ones I could weld this in and when we then have this shape and this is what I was talking about when I was looking at the other puzzle see now we have these extra nonsense bits in here but it means I can just drop it in and get one weld done and move it on well obviously and then I'm gonna have to remove the junk so in effect you know I'm kind of using uh using um the extra bits of these you know to create these extra bits to hold the shape together so i'm planning just dropping that into this i'm pretty much being finished right so um this is this one here so i need to do the same thing again i need to lift it up um which is a lifter I know it needs to be one, two, th three, and then the welder goes on top of it. The welder goes on top of that. And it looks something like that, I believe. So there was another welder here. Ah, 
That didn't work very well, did it? Obviously. That's better. In theory, I could be back one more, couldn't I? I believe so. I'm just want to make sure I've got plenty of room here because I, I know I'm going to need to remove the crud off it. So, um, is that lined up? I believe it is, so it's just down here, and it's a three by three, so. I'm just gonna draw it on the ground, and you know I like to do this if you've watched my other videos, just so I know where it's gonna be. So now this one, um, I don't think there's anything particularly um, tough about this. So I need, I wanna get it in this spinning rotationalizing type thing, which is that one there, I believe. Then two, three. Four. I might need one more, do I? Let me just think about this. So when it comes out here. gets rotated so I need to start killing them there I believe something like that I believe I'll need another two yeah I need to actually kill four of them okay Finally, so it's got to here. I need to rotate one more time, don't I? To make sure it's clear. Right, that square, do that. So now it's sitting, boom, 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 here, here. I need to take it off. And I need to run it in. Fabulous. Now. Okay, we can see this guy's getting in, so we don't want anything like that to happen. So I'm going to put a sensor here. And don't need that, actually. So, oh. So I don't want um, I don't want another one coming in whilst okay I didn't quite get in why is that okay I need to put a another one of them there so um, okay so that's looking good isn't it so now I need to weld it together which I could do here and here. Like that. And then I need to detect that it's got in.
So I can detect it's got in by looking. Through. That's got the well done. So then I can detect this square here above this. So it's two, two platforms and then a sensor. This is what I need. Two platforms, then a sensor. And what I'd like to do is, you know, it's coming this way. It's not going to be a pusher, is it? It's going to have to be a... It's going to have to be a... What's the word I'm looking for? A downward bit, bit of conveyor pushed in to get it moving and and that shouldn't interfere with its normal operation should it um, and put it on a pusher. Got to keep that square side clear. Oh, in fact, didn't even need to do that, did I? A pusher just works there, doesn't it? Yeah, of course it does. Oh, I'm an idiot. Um... Now I wonder, will it start rotating straight away? Let's have a look. I might have to move once. Sometimes these rotations can be a little, um, you know, because of blocks around. Let's just see if this will start rotating straight away. Yes, it will. So the first one I want to murder, and I mean that in the nicest possible way, I believe is there. And then I am much, much, much happier with this than what... Now, let's see. Hopefully, this does not back up here. I mean, I know I've put a bit of a delay with this blocker, but hopefully this block doesn't get continually get closer to this. Let's see where it is now. So it's at the end before it drops off. Oh, it's tied, isn't it? Is it getting is it getting closer each time? No, I think that's just, I think we're stable. I think we're getting them through here at the same speed. Yes, at the very end, and and this one's moving off. Okay, um, well, so this looks done, and again, the, my breakthrough, the thinking that really has helped, um, is yeah. Okay, so that's that's not bad at all, is it? So just to recap, this I love these, <laughs> and it just shows. I mean, like on big things, you also just using these to whip things around the factory. And the other thing, obviously, this whole concept of like the realization: why did they make, or why did um, why did they make these pillars four tall? You know, to give you a cutting job, a grind, you know, that seemed a bit trivial at this stage of the game. Can you figure out how to grind two, um, the end off two pillars? Eh, I mean, it, it's not the greatest challenge, is it, at this stage of the game? So it really got me to thinking why they did it. Like, 
why would you put these pillars too long? And I was wondering, I, I was having... And then once this clicks and you realize you can actually use the extra pieces to make a framework to make slater welding jobs you see like because i mean bef i mean to get this whole thing in it's one little weld and like i was saying in my head i think what was blocking my thinking was because you know i even though i knew i knew not deep down but i knew that they didn't the game didn't work like that i still felt of these were well this is welding this block to this block you know, and if somehow one of these blocks was to be grinded away, then the whole thing would come this. But 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 I know that's wrong because I mean I've welded, you know, a three by three with another three by three on top of it with one block and grinded a bit away, um, before. So so I know that doesn't work like that. And it was only when I realised for real for, um, how this would work that, um. So anyway, so this is um, my solution to it. Um, and hopefully this technique will be useful for me f in the later levels. And I mean, I might go back. Um, let's just um, come out of this. As I said, when we went back to um, this one, Solar Celebrate was the one that I knew I had a problem with. It didn't feel right. And yes, I mean, I wonder instead of this nonsense up here where I'm chopping it in half then bringing all these forward and dropping them in it's very pretty I mean I do like it I then welding the two halves back together again because I couldn't figure out any way of welding this one here without um, but I mean, if these were a six by six block, we like one in there, or even in fact, if even if just just like I had a I had the five by five here, I can weld all the outside ones no problem. It was this one that was a problem. So if I had maybe this one joined to this one, drop them in. As soon as I weld this outside one, this one would be welded in place, and then I could just like zap or eviscerate or something. Um, that square. So I might come back and have, have, a, have a look at this um, this one again. Anyway, we are in Atropos Station. I've just done life support system. As I said, this was my original attempt at it. I was recording this and uh, I just gave up on it because it it didn't seem anywhere near as good. Or didn't see it was then I had this sort of breakthrough why are there four and all the rest of it. Anyway, I am rambling. You don't pay good money to hear me ramble away like this. You want to see the game. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. Listen, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like on it on YouTube. Um, if you like what you see, please subscribe to the channel. I could do with some subscribers. Beg, beg, beg. Um, any comments? Like to tell me that even though I think I'm brilliant, I'm really not that then please uh, drop them on it. Uh, thanks again for watching. Bye now.